Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to official channel VidiProg Logger. New series of VidiProg Guide tutorial is now available in the channel, where you can find a complete set of videos showing how to use VidiProg Logger to create stunning videos from scratch. But before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. Today, we will go over how to create a new project in VideoProg Vlogger. As you launch your software, the project panel will pop automatically. Additionally, if you are already in the main interface, you can go to VideoProg menu on the top left and choose Create a new project or press Ctrl and N to do the work. Well, either way, you could enter the project panel in the project window. Navigate to the right to input a project name. Select the output directory, also the desired resolution frame rate. Well, the most commonly used resolution frame rate is 1080p and 30fps. If you want to learn more about video aspect ratio, resolution or that, go watch your related video made in our channel, and I will link it at the top right of the screen. After verifying all the information you input, hit the Create New Project button and start editing. Some of you might want to unpack or restore the existing project. I will show you three easy ways here. The recently used project could be directly found in the project window, which could showcase 16 items tops. And if you are looking for the older files, click the Open Project above. Well, if you already enter the main interface, navigate to the video prog menu and hit open project or simply press Ctrl O to open the project you want to work on. The last way is to locate the project on the computer and right click it. Select open with video prog vlogger. That's it. To save the project, here are two ways to manage. Directly press Ctrl Shift and S, or hit Menu and click Save Project to update the latest content to a project. But if you want to store the project file in a new or different folder, hit Save Project in Menu List or press Ctrl Shift and S to achieve the work. If you are going to hand the work to someone else or another device, you will need to archive the project. To do so, go to the menu list and click Archive Project or use shortcut Shift and E. At last, to close the project that you are working on, still, choose Close Project in the menu list or use the corresponding shortcut Shift-C to click Close the project. As you exit, the software will inquire whether to save the changes or not to the project. Well, press Save or Don't Save according to your personal needs or cancel to carry on the work. Alright, now you've reached today's video on how to create a project. I think you got it now. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.